This three-month-old male named Wenzel is the first healthy aardvark born at the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Gardens in more than 25 years. The milk from his mother, Allie, could help other baby aardvarks. Well, every Friday now we collect aardvark milk for the uh, National Milk Repository at the Smithsonian Institute in Washington, D.C. And this allows us to determine the basis of the milk. The Smithsonian collects exotic animal milk samples from zoos across the country. Scientists say it's important to know the changing composition of the milk because a newborn may have to be hand-reared if they are rejected by or unable to feed from its mother. And therefore we want to have a milk replacer. Not as good as mother's milk, but something as good as we can get, at least nutritionally, as close to the mother's milk as we can get. That's what happened in the case of baby Fiona, who became an internet sensation after she was born prematurely at the Cincinnati Zoo. The Nile hippo was too small to stand on her feet, and there's from her mother. They sent the milk to us so that we could analyze it, so that we could send that information back to their nutritionists, so that their nutrition staff and keeper staff could come up with a formula that was as close as possible to be able to fit mother's milk for Fiona. Now another zoo resident is paying it forward for the next baby in need. Chaman Chilo, Associated Press, Cincinnati.